We are live. The moment everyone's been waiting for, obviously. Obviously. Everyone's been waited with debated breath. It is kind of funny, though. Every time um, I do a poll, I'm like, well, we only have one person who ever votes in it, so... Yeah, right. They basically get to decide what I'm drawing, and I'm, like, thinking about next month's poll, about how I want to make it a little bit more difficult for them. Mm hmm So, I'm going to do a, a theme off of anime that have had reboots. Oh, interesting. So what are we thinking, like Shaman King, obviously? Yeah, Shaman King, Hunter Hunter, and Fullmetal Alchemist. Oh, gotcha, okay. <clears throat> I wasn't sure. You sure you don't want to get Hoshiengi in there? Like, come on, man. No, I want to make this difficult. <laughs> what about Sorcerer, Stabber, Orphan, man? That got a reboot. <laughs> Something I want to make it difficult. I get... Bastard? Come I get... on. Just, man, no, I'm just... <laughs> I said I want to make it difficult for this person, not fucking easy. Like, <laughs> Oh, we're going to have Fullmetal Alchemist and two other just non, non-animes. That's funny. Animes that don't matter. we got to figure out. I'm going to have to read some articles on maybe like how to drive traffic over there. Eh, people don't want to pay things. That's just going to be a hard time. Yeah, but I mean, there is like a science to it, so... Oh shit, that's really cool art from the old D&D game. Got to give them something they can't have normally. It's true. So I got to, you know, start drawing more hentai. Can't post that on uh, Twitter or on um, Instagram because, you know, those are good Christian Minecraft servers. It's true. I can't think of a more Christian service than Twitter. Or Twitch. Or anywhere else. Or FarmersOnly.com. I do know that all those conservative dating site apps are all, um, have a bunch of dudes that are just recently have been like, like, there's only guys here. <laughs> yeah, some of them have even, like, not even launched pretty much. Like, they were just, they basically just failed, like, right out the get-go. Dead on arrival. Yeah, because of that. Which is pretty funny. You know? Oh yeah, it's great. I need to like, I, I can only imagine someone has a really good compilation video of like the dating profiles on there. Oh, they must be hilarious. Imagine, yeah. It's like, do you want to spend an evening with me owning the libs? You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, right. That'd be pretty funny if that was <laughs> Really funny if true, but yeah. Do you want to beat up migrant workers by moonlight with me? You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just shit like that. They must be shit like yeah. that. <laughs> Willing to stay chained in my basement because you're a woman and inferior being. <laughs> Make sure to swipe right on me. I think it's right for if you want them, right? Uh, I don't remember. I feel like I usually hear people say, like, swipe left to get rid of someone, so... Uh, I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anything could be true. That's true, actually. I don't even know. Well, no, you would have to swipe right on them on that one. Because, you know, why would you swipe left if you wanted something on there? That's the wrong side. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, I can't, uh... Yeah, I can't even imagine how ridiculous those dating profiles are. Oh yeah, they're probably great. This does remind me of that commission I got of Ichigo a while back, and I think I kind of did that person a disservice because I did not fucking care. Yeah. It was okay. Like, it wasn't that... It wasn't, like, the worst one I've ever seen do. Yeah. But, but it's also that it's, like... I mean, it was... Ichigo with the hollow mask on, you know? Like, there's not much you can do. He's just, like, yeah. an entirely black kind of character, so. Racist. Oh, I am racist. Why do you think I'm on uh, republicansonly.com or whatever? It's actually .gov. Oh, you're right, you're right. The one I know is called The Right Stuff. <laughs> That's the one I saw everyone joking about. They're like, well, the name is spot on. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, it's a good name. Yeah, it's apparently owned, or at least like, I don't know how much of it is owned by them, but it's it's like their project. It's um, God, what is her name? Do you remember the crazy blonde lady that was on um, One America News a lot? I think could be any any of them. Honestly, oh, her name is like Kaylee McEnany or McEnany or something like that. Mac- but like, it's her Macintosh. sister. It's like her sister is the main person behind this. So it's really funny. Very She's like insane. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if I had profiles in it, but I did see, because I've seen people talking about it and it was really funny. Because there's some video where they're just like, we asked these conservative women what they want in a man. It was really funny. A men. In a man, you know, but whatever. In men. In a men's. In the men's. What a small men's wetsuit. That's what I want, personally. Now, I wouldn't be able to fit in it, but I still want it. And I can resell it. What I really want is $1,000 proxies from Wizards of the Coast. Hopefully, I'll be able to. You know, honestly, I think it's at least better than buying a Peloton. Yo, yo, my man, speaking the fucking truth over here. It's better than buying a Peloton that you leave in your junk room. That's true. At least uh, those proxies will see some use. That's true. That's true. I know if I was John, I'd be putting Craigslist ads up for that Peloton. I wonder if John is still free to go to the SCG. We're going to have to ask him. Yeah. My money's on no. Same, actually. I think it's a safer, it's a safe bet. Leave it like around here. Because he wasn't able to go to the last SCG, but that was because of a car. That, his car wasn't working. So. Well, it wasn't his car. It was Gabby's car wasn't working. That's true. Which means, uh, obviously means um, that she totally destroyed her own car, so John wouldn't go. I would believe that, actually. John, my man. Opened up the hood and took out like a stake and started pounding it into the engine. I believe that. (laughs) But if it works on vampires, it'll work on a car. Duh. Duh. John, my man. Welcome to the chat. (laughs) All right. Just, you know, chatting about dumb stuff, you know? Yeah, you know, we're just, we're definitely not talking about anything related to you or anything. Yeah, yeah. I do love, there was a funny screenshot of just like a panel from Bleach. Mm-hmm. And it was the the caption was I love it when they say the title, <laughs> and it said I'm going bleach, <laughs> and I was like that's so fucking stupid, because <laughs> they, they they it was like a bunch of like panels of like things that obviously ne- never once said the title. Yeah, Which that's is- what it sounds like. That's really funny. This looks like an old fashioned cowboy bebop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that'd be, yeah, that'd be one of them. Yeah, I don't know if it was in that book, but not. that would be one of them. That's that's one I would easily go for. How's it going, Jamie? I'm very excited. <laughs> hmm? You said you were very excited. Me? Yeah, because you went like like when Jamie you were just like shouted it. Oh. You're, you went up an octave. Well, I was just saying, how's it going? Yeah, but you went up like a, a whole pitch. And I was well, like, wow, I'm doing presenter, really excited. presenter voice. He's yeah. very excited. Presenter voice. Enthusiastic host voice, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, also, I heard some tragic news. Oh, shoot. Ash, how's it going? Mm-hmm. Uh, there will be uh, no Geats and Dawn Brothers next week. Bro, what the fuck? Is it some stupid golf match? Probably. This is bullshit. Jamie says, doing my gesture drawings and getting faster at it, I think. Nice. That's good. If it's going to be that marathon, we just need to go break everyone's leg. I still think it's uh, it's still not going to air, man. Like, they just, they haven't... <laughs> yeah, they just... Yeah. <laughs> it's just not They'll just find more runners. They're everywhere, you know? Yeah, sure. <laughs> They're as bad as artists. Right. <laughs> Fucking spit and you'll hit one. Yeah, just spit and you'll hit a marathon runner. Guaranteed.
And I guess we'll watch uh, Don Brothers tomorrow night, so. Yeah, I don't, uh, I guess, yeah, I don't think there's any uh, chance of watching it tonight, because, um, I think you'll have to get up early for the getting the car or whatever. Yeah, I don't know when we're going to leave. She told me it was probably going to be around noon, though, so that's not like, I don't have to get up too early. Well, I just, if she has work tomorrow morning, that, that means noon is when she gets off. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think she has work. It's too dark. I, I can't tell. Isn't there a light switch over there? There it is, but I have to go hit it. Okay, no, I don't think she works tomorrow. Oh, okay. Ash says, exhausted, spent the last two days at vendor meetings, and during that time I caught something and now have a fever. Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. The one day I decided to not wear a mask in public. What a dumb decision. Well, hopefully it's not anything too bad. I was sick a little while ago. I still have, like, a small cough. I don't know if I called small. I mean, it's small in the amount of coughing. Yeah, when it does happen. A light cough. Boy, is it, is it fucking loud. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to silence my cough or something? Do you have a silencer? I mean, I don't know. I didn't realize my coughing was such an issue. It's not. I'm just telling you that. Oh. If when you say it's small and light, I'm like, no, nah, that's not the word I would use for it. <laughs> oh, it's like, I mean, it's kind of, it's not that big of a deal to me. Yeah, it's just the, uh, it's uh, the, the, the joke about, you know, it being minuscule, but since you're Italian, it's going to be loud as fuck. Oh, now I get you. That makes sense. Your whole family, you know. I wasn't tracking. I didn't get where we were going with this. You're a loud individual, Wes. I thought we all knew this. Well, we don't know that, but I didn't know. I thought my coughing was keeping you up at night or something. No, that was the medication. Got ya. Got ya. This is why you need a good uh, bedtime enema. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Put your right to sleep. I always sleep a little better or something inside me. Mm hmm. Ash says, tested COVID negative so far, so I'm hoping it's nothing too bad. Okay, it's probably just like a small thing then. Yeah, the season, like the weather is changing outside and everything. That's usually when I get sick, and mm -hmm. so it makes sense that I was sick last week. Oh, watch out, you're kind of smudging over there too. Yeah, I know. It's going to oh, okay. be black over there anyway, so. Oh, okay, I got you. I just... doesn't uh, bother me too much, but I am aware of it. Okay, I just noticed. I know sometimes you won't notice because you're just kind of in the zone. In Auto chat. zone, specifically. Alright, chat. Are you ready for me to draw something controversial on stream? It's true. He's doing it. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to zoom in on this. Look at this, man. If I can just get a better fucking shot of this goddamn... Known Bankai sympathizer. Yeah, it's a little... It was always very bizarre to me that this... that I mean, I understand in Buddhism... It's yeah, though, the kanji for Bankai, the Bon, is a swastika. Yeah. Okay, there we go, that's better. Yeah. So. Yeah, right. Back to our earlier discussion in the week about <laughs> Nazi sympathizers and long in anime. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not the case in this one, because again, like... No, definitely not. I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know, the Quincy were very Nazi-like, but that's because they were German. -themed. Yeah. But then they were also the villains, so... Yeah, they were never presented in, like, a this-is-a-good-idea light, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. It is... They're actually... I do... Oh, you were gonna say? Oh, they're always, like, you know, portrayed as, like, their ideas are usually in the wrong, because they would do, like, the way they would handle souls and stuff like that. Yeah. Very absolute. I do remember that, um... Remember in One Piece when they made Oda change Whitebeard's flag? Yeah. I was always joking. I was like, bro... He has to change the flag, but the, the kanji for Bankai, the swastika, is right there, and it's right on this sword, too, you know? Yeah. I was like... And then when he gets his full bring, it's a swastika as well. Yeah. I thought that was funny. I was like, they never got onto Kubo for this. Well, that's because they didn't expect uh, anything from Kubo, I guess. I guess it's also because maybe it just looks worse when it's on, like, a giant flag. Yeah. So... Here. Maybe just Look get... at this man. A known Bankai sympathizer. Ah, let's move off the show. Doesn't Bankai also just mean like something like uh, power or something like that? Like it I think it translates. I, can look what it translates to. I just remember it translates to something kind of dumb. We 
least I think I remember it translating to something stupid because I remember Eric mentioning it was something stupid, but that was like back in middle school, high school, so. I mean, it's, I don't know the exact, let's see, does it have a definition of this? Uh, let's see. Um, what does Ash say? I don't remember. Did Ichigo's Bankai sword ever cause an uproar? No, not really. I remember the Naruto anime changed the symbol on Neji's forehead to an X. Yeah, definitely. That one, yeah. There was I a... remember that one. Yeah. No, nah, no one ever mentioned this once. I don't remember ever hearing anyone mention this. Yeah, I don't remember it either. Again, I do not remember any uproar about Ichigo's sword. I'm actually going to be interested in seeing since they're bringing it back. If um, doubt if there'll be actual uproar now, I mean, because of the internet age that we live in, I imagine someone might bring it up or like someone might make a fucking thread about it. Oh, it apparently translates to like final release or final stage. Okay, yeah, which makes sense. But where are like the actual kanjis for it? Because I know the first one is a swastika. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Because I remember because it was like uh, in the Shonen Jump fighting game on DS. It was in the panel because it was when he does it the yeah. first time. And it was like huge. I thought it was really funny. I know, what is it? In the early Shonen Jump magazine, they kept that symbol on the... Um, the ninja guy that they fight in Yu Yu Hakusho in Genkai's oh, yeah, tournament. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was apparently someone complained about that at one point because it was in the school somewhere, so some Karen was complaining about it. Yeah. I just... Yeah, I don't really know what... What, what is that symbol? It's a Buddhist symbol, right? Yeah. It, it's from other stuff, too. Depends on the culture and, like, what it kind of means. I know it can mean, like, various things. Because, like, uh, it makes me wonder, why did they, like, why why was Neji's head symbol a swastika? Why was Whitebeard's flag a swastika? Well, it's not, exi well, technically we shouldn't be saying swastika, because uh, that's the crooked Nazi right. one, but. Uh, what is it called, then? Uh, it's like a, what is this, the Manji symbol or something? Ash had it in here. Yeah, Manji, yeah. Okay. Then yeah, what? Ash says it's Buddhist symbol representing peace. Yeah. yeah, I know it's something like that. I know it's like kind of like harmony. Some cultures, I think it represents like the four elements. Yeah. Because I think it's in like maybe Viking or early. There's some other cultures that have it too. So yeah, like it's not just Buddhist. Or uh, there are similar symbols. Okay, so Manji is what we'll call it from now on then. Yeah. Let's see. Well, Wikipedia still calls it a swastika, so I guess it's not... I don't know if you need to distinct it, make it distinct Well, when you say that, but yeah. We'll, make it, we'll, we'll make it distinct for here. Yeah. Because right now I just want to know... Because, yeah, uh, it's also in Indian... Um, yeah, it's in Hinduism. I remember that. Let's see if we got any other stuff from this. Appearance. Because why, why is it there on these specific things? There has to be, like, you know, a, a, a reason. Mm hmm Like, you don't put it in there without, you know, thinking about it. Or... Yeah, Ash says, uh, as a Buddhist, I grew up with it in all of our religious texts, on some of our decor, etc. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, why it's specifically used there for, like, Neji, you know, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, because it calls it, like, the caged bird. Yeah, I... It... And it does that. I don't. I. Uh, I would never have. I just know it was like the symbol that marked you as like the other family, right, or whatever the it, branch family. It marked you as like you were gonna, yeah, be a part of the branch family, and also you were like, which meant you were like sacrificial or whatever. You were sacrificial because basically, if you died, the techniques would be sealed in your body, and they couldn't get it. And then also yeah. that means that they could control you as well. The, mm -hmm. the head family members could. Yeah, I'm not really sure, because there is always just a chance of, like, 
it's just something that you recognize culturally and they thought it would look cool, you know? Yeah, there's like always with, a chance. Like but... with, the, and, you know, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, oh, this is religious stuff from the West and it looks cool. It's just like occult stuff. Yeah. So. I just figured I'd like, be like, well, there has to be a reason, you know? Yeah. I understand for this one because they use Bankai, you know? And has yeah, a... and also this is very much, you know, like... They're ghosts and everything. This is very spiritual, so it makes yeah. sense that it would be there. And yeah, like it's in the name Bankai. Yeah. So. But then, like with you know, One Piece, why the fuck is Blackbeard putting that on his you know flag? Mm-hmm. Let's see. It says the word swastika has been used in the Indian subcontinent since 500 BCE. So, I'm trying to see what like this tab was. Appearance, left and right facing. So you can also have it reversed too. Yeah, here's the one I was thinking of, kind of. In, like, Native American culture, there's one that's, like, for the four wings. Mm. The earliest known swastika is from around 10,000 BCE. Part of an intricate meander pattern of joined swastikas found on late Paleolithic figure uh, figurine of a bird. <laughs> Carved from mammoth ivory. Uh, found in the Ukraine. Hmm. There's some other theories that it's like has something to do with um, the stars around the North Pole. And there's another theory that it's like maybe a representation of a comet or something originally. Hmm. So. At least the symbol itself, not mm -hmm. its use in any other thing specifically. Like, this is the. Paleolithic kind of stuff. Yeah. Real variety stream here. It really is, honestly. But yeah, as for maybe like why it's used sometimes, I think it is just it's a cultural symbol, you know? Yeah. Because I remember um, in the old volumes of One Piece, um, there are characters that do have those tattoos on them. Mm -hmm. And in translator notes will just say like, yeah, this means something different. It, this bad boy is thing that he's got on is something different in their culture, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Like legit in Arlong Park, when we first see some of the fishmen uh, up here, they're like, there's one that has a swastika on his chest. And they're like, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, this means something different. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, those trans those style translator notes. Yeah, and it's like in official too. Yeah. yeah, that's in the old one. I wonder if that's edited in re-releases. Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I, I would I'm be sure. I'd be willing to bet money on that, yeah. A little bit of light there. Are you trying to find? Oh, I had uh, my black paint marker. I thought I had it. Oh. Yeah, Hmm. Let's see. I don't see any of them floating around on the floor. Hmm. Oh. <coughs> hmm. 
What was in the ebook version you read? Oh, 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 the the uh the swastika, I guess, is what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's okay. That's interesting. Okay. So what's still there? He, that's what Jamie's saying. Oh, cool. Good to know. Yeah, the fishman tattoo. Yeah. Huh. Very interesting. Because again, I just uh, see those translated notes were what I think the Tokyo Revengers anime should have done instead of badly censoring all the uniforms. Wow, did they really do that? I actually have no idea. Like, I know some of the cosplayers just put tape over their uh, symbols. Yeah. Which, again, I understand uh, that symbol is a bit of a different context um, Yeah. here in the West. Even, even being close enough is generally not accepted over here. Yeah. So... But it does just look kind of funny every time when there's like tape on their jacket for it. Yeah, some of them don't even. So there's some that sell it that don't have the actual swatch design. Oh really? Too. I didn't know there were ones that sell it without that. That's interesting. Yeah. I still think the best uh, cosplay swastika censorship is the Helsing cosplayers that would put the four kids logo there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those were it. those were the best. I do love those ones. So it's censored in the anime, like, uh, just in what, like, the English release, or... Yeah, because Ash is saying, like, how hard could it have been to say this isn't a Nazi symbol? Uh, pretty hard, apparently. I mean, it's not about how hard it is to say that, it's about how hard people are going to rail you on Twitter. Uh, Crunchyroll released a censored version of the anime that badly censored the symbol by making it look like the motorcycle lights? What? Yeah, oh my god, what? Yeah, link me a clip to this. This sounds terrible. So what is that? Like, if you go to watch the censored version versus the uncensored version? Uh, I'm guessing. I know they have had stuff like that on Crunchyroll before. It's like here, I need to remember how you actually do this. I got you. It has been a bit. You want a piece of paper from over here? No, I got plenty over here. Okay. because I just wanted to make sure that the mark was uh, pretty strong to know where I know that's Zared, is. what's up? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Because we're drawing a Ichigo with his Bankai. So that's how this whole thing got started. <laughs> yeah, there's just a giant light covering it. That's really funny. I'd use my giant one, but that giant one is just a pain in the ass to use too. Like for a mm -hmm. small circle like this. Actually. This is like the opposite version of when they use the uh, the darkness to cover everything. Yeah, right. By and it way. looks terrible. Yeah, look at this, Matt. Look at this. There's a giant fucking glare across the middle of the screen. That's weird. That's crazy. I don't like that. This part's like cropped. Wow, I cannot remember how to do this. And he never did remember chat. Let's put this up here real quick. Let's see. Uh, Ash says, I made sure to watch the uncensored version because the censored version looks like ass. Yeah, definitely. Demon Slayer has it too? I don't remember. Was that in Demon Slayer? I remember his earrings are censored in China. Yeah. <laughs> where they're edited. I'm trying yeah. to remember if anyone did that in Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't remember. 
Do you remember anyone with that? Uh, I can't remember anyone that had been centered now. Tape. Stay. Yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You have to move it. Can't move it. Can't move it like this one, maybe. Okay, yeah, you just gotta do that. Got it. One of the guy's swords, that portion that is like the guard after the handle. Oh, I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. Yeah. To be fair, I don't remember what all of their like sword the guards look like. I only remember Ren Goku's one with the fire, you know. Yeah. Because they made a big deal out of it. Luckily, this is one of those ones that's gonna be inked out. So. Yeah, yeah. Good thing you're just inking all over all the mistakes. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't know if we wanted to turn the big light on or not. I saw there was like some more stuff in the picture originally, but... Yeah, I decided I didn't want that butterfly in there anymore. Okay. <coughs> well, I also forgot, there are, uh, I remember seeing this on a post a little while ago, that there were um, Street Fighter characters in Yu Yu Hakusho in that early part. Really? They're in the anime only, I believe. I don't okay. think they were drawn in the manga. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember that. They're, they're in the background before they go to the Genkai's like, tournament. It's like, well, they're there. Huh, that's funny. Before they get to the finals. Let me see if I can find that, a picture of that. Yeah, here we go. Kind of tough to see because <coughs> this picture is kind of small, but you can. I don't know if you can see them from where you're at. Let's see, like, there's Dalsim and like oh, Zangief. That's pretty funny. And Chun Li is there. Yeah, and E Honda. Yeah. Yeah, Guile and Ryu are there. Yeah, they're just there as background characters. Yeah, it's just filler. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of shit they used to do in old anime. Yeah. Can't do that anymore. Like, I remember um, the Yawara characters. Remember, they're just in that one Project Aiko OVA? Yeah. They were just there. They just, like, walked. <laughs> we're just walking. <laughs> we're just like, what? Or, like, the... Um, the Daikon opening? Yeah. Bro, that Daikon opening would get, like, the biggest fucking cease and desist of all time. Uh, yeah, they only showed it once, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, if you tried to make that today mm -hmm. and use that for, like, anything, dude, you would get your ass suit off. So funny. Mm-hmm. Actually, I wonder how many of those properties are now owned by only one company? Um... <laughs> uh... Because all the Star Wars stuff and all the Marvel stuff will be Disney. Yeah. Uh, well, all and there's still there's probably a lot of stuff owned by Toei in there. Yeah, there's a lot of Toei stuff. I remember. DC is still DC, so they didn't sell everything, so they're still separate. 
At some point, Disney will own them, too. One day. And they'll have a comic monopoly. Well, I mean, those aren't the only two companies that make comics. So. They're the only two. They're the only two that matter, Matthew. I mean, image still matters. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. Image, Oni Press. <laughs> Next, he's going to tell me Dark Horse matters. Uh, it does, yeah. <laughs> Tragically. Damn, what is the deal with like wizards trying to remove all of the signatures from the art? Uh, there's another picture where someone has the soul ring and the artist's signature is like half cropped out. Also, apparently they're going to try and print this with art they don't have the rights to. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I just found that out. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of like, because there are some Quentin Hoover pieces that aren't in there, but there's other ones and someone was on talking to their son on to the artist's son because you know the artist passed away and they're like yeah i'm pretty sure wizards doesn't own those <laughs> nice <laughs> well that'll be fun yeah right but yeah so that's why they have to cost a thousand dollars to pay for all the legal fees yeah right <laughs> Yeah, the soul ring is like is cropped really poorly, and it has like half the artist's signature in it. There was a cool um, secret layer though that I saw recently that had like the like kind of VHS tape look, and they had like Shark Typhoon on there. That was the one I was showing you. Yeah. That was uh, one fifty, mm -hmm. and you get like thirty cards. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't. You didn't like. You told me about it. I didn't see any of the cards. The only card I saw was the Elspeth. Got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just meant like that was the one. Yeah. All right, apparently Post Malone is also getting his own secret layer crop. Really? Yeah. Is it, like, it Pokemon-themed? I don't know. I mean, he is, like, practically now one of the faces of magic somehow. This has just happened. Yeah, which is weird. Yeah. If anything, we need more Danny Trejo stuff, since he was in a few of the commercials. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's probably also one of the few people who's buying the thousand dollar secret layer. So I mean, yeah, that's like, <laughs> you know, that's not it's, it's like just barely even a paycheck for him. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, you you cut a little bit out of me, but you he's know, gonna shit that out later. Yeah. Email the coordinator real quick. All right. Well, I hope whatever needs to get handled gets handled. Now you email the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that email doesn't find them well. Or it does find them well so they can answer back. That's true. Finds them well enough to answer back. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, that's kind of funny. That's really nice.
color for the background. Yeah. Where I got one. There you go. Nice. Obviously orange with the D. No. Sunny D that is. <laughs> I haven't had Sunny D in forever. It's probably for the better. Yeah, I don't remember it actually like tasting good. I just remember it has a unique taste. Yeah, I think it was like one of those things that it didn't taste very good, but you got it because it was in commercials and it was the hype. And your friends always had it. It was all about Sunny D culture. Yeah, it was a cultural thing, yeah. I know Capri Sun definitely tastes way better than Sunny D. Yeah. I'm just going to throw that out there. Controversial hot take. Very lukewarm, but yeah. All right. <laughs> what? That's so sick. I got to see this. Mm -hmm. No. Hold it? on. Zared says there's a Buster Call snail case for your AirPods that dropped today. I think I might... I don't know if I saw that. I did see there was going to be a bunch of crazy, like, One Piece merch. I saw, like, some cool phone cases. Let me see this. I still want to get the bath bomb stuff. That's the Devil Free Bath Bombs. Yeah, right? I, too, would like to smell like the gum gum fruit. Okay, I saw these. It's just this coming soon. Oh, I see it now. The, the like, gold one? Oh, that is hot. Matt, you see this? Oh, damn, that is pretty cool. I'd be so nervous to take that out, though, in public, because oh, right? everyone's going to want to steal it. Better, better, better. Better, better, better. Who was it that had that as their, like, phone message? Uh, I don't know, but that I do know you're talking about. Was that Nelson? <sighs> Probably, yeah. That's I can't a, remember. Feels like a Nelson thing, but... It's oh, dang. Zara says he grabbed two of them. Nice. You gonna send the other one off to get graded? Absolutely. People are gonna want Gem Mint 10s 20 years from now, man. Not gonna be able to find that shit. No. I to drink loudly on stream. Oh yeah, these are pretty nice. I have a pretty shitty phone though, so I don't think they have one for mine. <clears throat> oh damn, it's on the Utah right though. Ace. Yo, this Yamato case though. Mm -hmm. oh. oh nice. Oh, it's good. Oh, and it's got Odin on it? Oh, that's tight. That is tight. I didn't even see that when it was small. <coughs> 20 years from now, they won't even make AirPods that would fit in there. <laughs> that's why people are going to want it. Because <laughs> they're going to need cases for their old AirPods. Mm hmm You think AirPods aren't going to come back around? Polaroid cameras are back in style, man. Also going to be a thing with, um, what is it, just in general, because cases are just so poorly made now. Yeah. It'll be like the Sega Saturn, Sega CD, or whatever. No, both of those. Both of those, both yeah. of those work for that, uh, that uh, sentence. PS1 cases. Oh, PS1 cases are way better made than Sega Saturn cases. Yeah, but they're still, like, trash. Well, they break pretty easy. Yeah, because, like... Just I, jewel cases in general break pretty fucking easy, unless they're those slim ones that you could buy like a hundred for like ten bucks those for some reason are fine because they're so compact yeah well, you I know, know it. it's honestly shocking yeah Dang, the, um, 
The Den Den Mushis are already sold out. Zaren, I'm guessing you're the one who bought all of them, then. Probably, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see those, too. Some hot stuff. <coughs> I still need that Ronda one half uh, Ukyo spatula. Yeah. That would be tight. Mm hmm. That and uh, my other, one of my other favorite uh, anime tie ins is the JoJo Part 5 makeup. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they have lipstick that is all the uh, bullets yeah. from Sex Pistols. And they're numbered and everything. Yeah, I remember seeing this was like when this was um, announced, like you know, like this sale was gonna happen or whatever this crossover. But that's pretty tight. I for completely forgot about it. I feel like that this even if, I don't even have AirPods, but this thing's probably pretty cool just to have to hold stuff in. Oh yeah. I don't know what else you could put in it since it's designed for AirPods, but um, some weed probably. I don't know. Dime bags, yeah. Dime bags, nickel bags, penny bags. Nickelback. Yeah, shilling bags. You can put all of Nickelback's greatest hits into that. Dude, it could easily fit Nickelback's greatest hits album. Yeah. It's, it's air. <laughs> it's very tiny. It's because it doesn't exist. It's a blank CD. <laughs> you buy the case and it's empty. <laughs> you were supposed to keep it sealed, fool. Put it on display with your figures. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also emailed, uh, speaking of emailing people, this is from a while back, but um, oh. Kawakon still hasn't sent their invoice, but a bunch of artists got it, but not, I don't know anything about it, anyone who got a vendor thing, so I emailed them asking. It's like, hey, um, okay. we, uh, we got it from Gucci. Come on, man, I need this invoice. So you said it was due by 31st of October. I would very much like to mm -hmm. you know, pay for that. That'd be really nice of you. Real keen of you to do something, man. I would think you're the keenest. Mm-hmm. that shook my very foundation. <laughs> it rustled your jimmies to their very core. To the very core, yeah. We do need to get some more One Piece rep for the living room, though. Mm-hmm. Tall Ellen about my volumes of One Piece. You know, I was wondering about that like a day or two ago. I harassed her a while ago, and she said she should be fine, but I haven't heard back from since. Mm. And that was about uh, a couple weeks ago, so it's now prime real estate to harass her once again. Mm -hmm. That her books are overdue.
nice. Yeah, Zared said they have a really cool uh, Thousand Sunny model kit coming out. Oh, nice. As long as I don't have to paint it. That was the part I never did on Gundam. I tried for a little bit and it just didn't come out right. That's why if I ever did that, I didn't ask Calvin uh, to paint them. Yeah. He was really good at painting those. I know if I ever bought any of those garage kits, I would have just paid that one booth to build it for me. You know, the one that made like the uh, the Read or Die one with yeah. all the paper? Yeah. I'd either keep it in the box or I'd pay them to make it for me. Cause like, I'm not gonna fuck it up. <laughs> as long as they do a better job than Spanish, uh, than the Spanish restoration. Art restoration people, yeah. I mean... It's a low bar! I can't imagine. It's any. a low bar, but... I can't imagine. But that's about my level of skill, though, so if they're better than them... Then they're already better than me. So. Oh, good. No paint needed? All right. I like the sound of that. <coughs> what is it? Everyone is joking about the Thousand Sunnies going to get a double fruit now. I don't know if Zared's caught up on the manga. Zared, you caught up on the manga or you just watched the anime? How the fuck was this boat gonna get a double? Fruit? I know that's why it's so funny to think about. I was like, how would that work? Like, wouldn't the ship just sink then? Yeah, that'd, <laughs> that'd like kill me. The six. I was like, I don't think y'all thought this theory out, man. Like, my favorite joke though thus far is the six paths of science. <laughs> this world shall know science. Right. <sighs> Okay, so you are caught up. Yeah, that's what we were joking. I saw someone post some stupid thing about, like, the Thousand Sunny was going to get a devil fruit because they meant Megapong. I am just like, how does this work with a boat, though? It, it, trick question. I would hope it doesn't. It don't. <laughs> if it did, that'd be the fucking dumbest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's up there with having, like, the water water fruit or some shit, you know? Well, that actually is a real fruit. Um, it was from a movie. Well, they turned into a weird liquid. Yeah. The, that was an, an un, unspecified liquid, I believe. No, it said it was the Mizu Mizu. Did it? Yeah. Well, let me go see. Because I remember we checked this one time. Let me go see here. And then the other one that's like the Mizu Mizu was the, the guy who was <coughs> just able to swim through everything like it was water. Yeah, I remember that one. This is on the One Piece fan fiction one. That's definitely not it. No, it could definitely be it. Because <laughs> um, it's definitely not canon. <laughs> according to Quora, though, that comes up on Google, Thanks, Quora. Oda says there that it does exist. Now, see, because that's not what it's called, I think. Uh, it's from that second movie with the Trump family, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was their name. It's because they were all card themed. Yeah. But it's just really funny in hindsight, you know? Yeah, the Trump pirates. Because um, the girl had it. Yeah. Because Nami traps from that jar. Yeah. <clears throat> Does this fruit have an actual name? Uh, it is listed as the Toro Toro no Mi. Um, what does this translate to directly? A Japanese onomatopoeia indicating that a liquid has a syrupy consistency. Okay. So, not exactly water, um, but pretty damn close. And I think it was just never non- I don't think I even stated. I just know that it, I remember it being, um, someone posted it saying it was Mizu Mizu, but I can't remember. Yeah, no... Because I, I think I remember we were looking this up once because mm -hmm. we were talking about that. About, like, how does that work? Do you just, like, turn into water and then you're, like, slide on the bottom of the sea, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we know that, like, devil <clears throat> users that are fishmen, they just sink to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. And they just stay there. Yeah, you can't really do much. I mean, you could do stuff still. Because, what was it, the throwing guy? 
was there. Throwing guy? To the guy with the power. He, he kept throwing axes at Shiro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he had a double fruit. I was thinking of, like, um, Jack, because he, yeah. he couldn't move. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember there was a sword. Yeah, and the gun, too. Yeah. There was some other one. Was there another one? The dachshund that was the... Yeah, I remember there was a dog that was a bazooka. Yeah, the bazooka that ate the dog dog. Yeah, fruit. yeah, ate the dog. And then the sword had the elephant fruit. Yeah. And did we go back to that again after that arc? I'm trying to remember if there was anything else. Uh, I don't know. I thought my head was. Yeah, those are the two I remember. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, my favorite part of Bleach, though, yeah, when he says he's going Bleach. You know? It's true. I remember when he said that. I'm going bleach. What color are your eyes again? Okay. Anime color. Damn, and apparently this is non-canon according to the wiki. Tragic. The syrup syrup me. <laughs> yeah, this liquidy fruit, or not fruit, but yeah, this liquidy devil fruit. Yeah, it's, uh, the movie is definitely Yeah, not those canon. early movies are really weird. Still the best one will always be that weird fucking one that was animated, directed by the animator of Summer Wars. Oh my god, that movie is amazing, and it's so sad. It's very fucking dark. Like, holy fuck is that dark. Even for, like, One Piece, this is pretty dark. This is, like, a character's backstory dark. Like, yeah. this is seriously dark. Yeah, it's just like, alright, everyone on this island is actually dead. They just yeah. do not understand that they are dead. Yeah, all those characters are actually dead. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that movie was hella dark. And then, like, the fight at the end was so intense, too. And the yeah. lighting on it was really w amazing. Yeah. It it's was all, so well done. Speaking of... Uh, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> John, what's good? Speaking of Nazi shit, though, that guy with the toothbrush mustaches. Yes, the t the toothbrush mustache pirates or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It was just that they one. all had the Hitler mustaches. Yeah. Yeah, because that was like his whole crew, right? Yeah. They all had Charlie Chaplin mustaches, Chad. <laughs> this is different. John, were there any more items that had devil fruits other than the gun and the sword? Yeah, John would know. John would know. John, John would fucking know. <coughs> John fucking remembers John that. John definitely knows. Are you still able to go to the SCG? Oh, yeah. Can you go to the SCG on Sunday? Oh, I need to turn this back down. It was a little bright. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, he says there's none that he can think of, so. So that probably means they don't exist. Yeah, that probably means there weren't any. John doesn't remember. Oh, he is still going. Nice. Awesome, sick. We just remember you uh, thought you might have to fight tooth and nail for it at that point when you left. Commit acts of violence just to get a spot. Mm-hmm. Shit, is that the Crunchyroll logo? Yeah. Okay. Just thought I'd check. Yeah, you got it. Nailed it on the first try. Good. He says, I lost a few teeth and a few nails, but I'll be there. That's funny. Guys, abuse isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hilarious. If you see something, say something. I think it's really funny. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why I played the domestic abuse panda deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's true. The rip roar in good time. Mm -hmm. It's really funny at parties, Chad. Like, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> I take them everywhere. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's only funny when it's against men. That's true. Then it's funny. Mm -hmm. Just like sexual assault. Yeah. For those of you who don't understand, Wes has never once said anything serious in his life, so this is uh, <laughs> being facetious. For those of you who new here, at least. <laughs> or haven't been here for longer than about five minutes. 
Let's see, John writes, Matt, if you see something, say something. Wes immediately goes, I think it's funny. He'll laugh my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> it's the duality of man. Look, if society doesn't take it serious, why should I? I don't know. I mean, like, 